Oh, hey, Don Copeland here. I just want to show you uh, what we're getting ready to do here. We're getting ready to print on a mailbox, all right? And what I'm doing right now is I'm kind of leveling it up. As you see, it's got some, some rivets here. They're going to kind of make things unbalanced. We've actually got some Play-Doh underneath here. That I've got it sitting down on. I've kind of leveled it up as best I can. I'm going to wipe it down, and then we're going to print it. And what I'll do is while it's printing, we'll go in real quick, and uh, we'll show you what we did in the software to get this all set up. So uh, here it is all set and ready to go. Go ahead and hit the Load button. We're gonna show you here real quick what we did to kind of set this artwork up. This would be something you would do like if you're gonna do uh, multiples of this or have this as like a stock design you're gonna do on something like a mailbox. So what we've done is we actually started off here. We brought in, this is a, uh, a graphic we bought offline. We did some tweaking to it in uh, Photoshop just to make it a little bit more friendly to print onto the dark material. All right, got rid of the background and all. And so I've taken that and I've put that on layer one. I'm going to go ahead and turn that layer off so you can see what else we have set up. We have two more layers, all right? We have a layer right here, which is this outline. If you see this when I select it, show you that it's a rectangle. That's this outline. I actually printed that outline onto the bed to be able to set the actual mailbox down onto. So we printed that on. Once I printed that, I had turned that layer off. All right, the last layer that we have left, we're going to turn this back on just so we can see it. The last layer I had left is my text layer. All right, so the V would most likely stay there all the time, so I didn't do a whole lot with that. But when I put in Copeland's, if you'll notice when I click on this, I left oriented this so any name that I put in here is going to fit in the same place. So if I put the Joneses, I could put it there. You know, I can also move it around if I wanted to, just by simply taking it up and picking it up and moving it over to here, all right? And then I also down here took the text, I mean the address, I separated it from the smaller font, which is the street name, took that, made that so that it is right justified. So now if I change this to say to 1401, it still stays in the same spot, all right? So we can play with it that way. The same thing here, this could be snow. Ball Lane. All right, so it stays oriented the same. We have that all set up now, so now we can quickly change from one to another. You could actually have multiple pages. Let's say you had a handful of different uh, backdrops you dropped into here. You could have five or six layers here that each have a different bitmap that you drop in or different fonts and whatnot. That's what we did to set it up in the software, and then simply what we did when we were done, we sent it over to the RIP right through here, sent that over to the RIP, once it arrived in the rip over here, which is what we see right here, we've got this designs that dropped in right here. We printed it in our fine auto white color, which means it's going to automatically gen or generate a white underbase, then a color over the top. 96.91 cents, 97 cents worth of ink, like we said, about five and a half minutes, uh, about typical time for this to print. So there you go. That's what we did in the software. All right, there we have it. We printed it out. It was uh, about five and a half minutes to print this out. Uh, it was about 96 cents worth of ink. It's a powder coated mailbox, so it's gonna stick really, really well. Uh, just looks awesome. You can customize it. You saw what I did there in the software, the way we set it up in the different layers. You can see that we could have quickly have changed that to say the Joneses with a different address on a different road. And as I talked about right here, the magic key right there is the, the Play-Doh down on the bed. What that did is it's soft, so it allowed me to get it on there and move it around a little bit to get it leveled up. And it would still have a little bit of bite to it as well, so it'll hold it steady as well while it was printing, wouldn't have any rocking and rolling. But uh, that's it. That's how you print a mailbox on a Compress IUV600S.